everyone in the vinyl community i hope you're all keeping safe and well um, today i'm going to do a video um, first of all i'd like to give a shout out to um, richard mccook who um, has his own channel up and it's absolutely fantastic he's a guy that just has so much knowledge of music it's unreal um, he comes out with some absolutely fantastic ideas to do videos as well um, uh, really obscure things like um, albums with seven names so forth. But I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with him anyway. But he's a great guy, and I just want to give him a shout out because his videos really introduced me back to music because I was kind of not drifting away as I say from music, but I was kind of um, uh, not listening to as much music as I should have, and a lot of bands I'd actually forgotten about from the 80s so far. To, and um, he really got me back into listening to a lot of groups and a lot of bands, and introduced me to a lot of music too. Um, obvious bands like ABBA for instance who I'd never listened to I'd go oh my god I'd never listened to them and the Carpenters and um, listening to Richard I, I listened to them and I absolutely got into them he's so right but he's so knowledgeable of music it's um, it's fantastic he's a great guy I'll leave a uh, link to his uh, channel at the bottom there at the end of the video um, yeah so today I'm going to do uh, what Richard actually done um, I think was uh, floating around I think John Heaton done it to um, uh, a little while ago uh, it's 10 Bob Dylan albums uh, 10 favourite Bob Dylan albums count them down your least favourite um, that is very difficult it's a very difficult thing to do um, with Bob Dylan there's so much material so many different kind of uh, styles of music with Dylan that um, it's not, it, it really is impossible to um, to pick every album and count them down and stuff. so 10 is a great idea so I thought I'd give it a shot as well now my selection probably would be a lot different from a lot of uh, those real kind of die-hard Bob Dylan fans because um, well I've liked Dylan for many years almost 30 years but um, and I, I have all his albums I'm happy to say but um, yeah I, I went and picked my favourite 10 so um, first of all there's a couple of cover versions out there like this one here Dylan which I feel that, that album is actually very underrated there's some absolutely fantastic material on there I like his version of uh, Mr Bojangles and um, a fool such as I, but there's other songs on it like uh, "Lily of the West" and "Can't Help Falling." Um, sorry, "Can't Help Falling in Love" again. Yeah, "Can't Help Falling in Love." I should say the um song that's a kind of very famous by Elvis, of course. But um, Sarah Jane, there is some absolutely fantastic covers on that, and um, yeah, from 1973, same time as uh, Bowie's pinups, and I think Roxy Music released a co an album of covers then as well. 73 must have been a big year for uh, cover versions. Another one um is uh this one here cover versions as well can you kind of concentrate more on kind of frank sinatra and people like that with that one and then you have this lad here too Bob Dylan shadows in the night his last three albums were actually uh, focused on uh, covers so um he had no original material on his last three albums so i uh, just thought i'd give them a show anyway um yeah it's a nice uh, nice piece there so i like it but I do like these albums and I have listened to them. Um, don't listen to them as much as I used to, but um, when they come out, I listen to them quite often. And I do like them. I do like his cover version. Not, they're not for everyone, but that's the way it goes. Anyway, start off with 10. And my number 10 is Dylan Street Legal from 78. I like this album a lot. Um, it opens up with the fantastic uh, Change of the Guards. But the rest of the album is absolutely fantastic too. Just great sound. Just um, an era I really liked uh, uh, with Bob Dylan. So um, some other great songs are like New Pony is another one. Um... Where you are tonight is your love in vain is on this as well but it's a fantastic album yeah it's uncomfortable to have that at 10. another one again getting into uh, his more recent work modern times another fantastic album some great songs on this uh, songs like thunder in the mountain of course which opens the album then you have spirit in the water rolling and tumbling walking man blues which is an absolutely fantastic song belt of a song uh nettie moore is another great song i love that song fantastic love the lyrics in that song too levy's gonna break too just an absolutely fantastic album this is from around uh, 2006 i think but a fantastic album modern times um staying with uh, his later material this was kind of his last um kind of uh, original material let me say the last as i said the last three albums focused primarily on um at the old kind of style music cover versions and stuff but this is another fantastic album it's quite a long album this has the uh, brilliant it's called whistle uh, soon after midnight which is great narrow way long and wasted years beautiful song great song pay and blood uh tin angel tempest another great song roll on john just a fantastic album this i really like this album a lot tempest yeah and um He's la the last 10 years he's actually been um, touring. He's focused a lot on his later material. He does a lot of um, songs from um, his kind of um, 
last few albums on his um, on his later two cause the never ending tour as such he's been doing that so this one here this is my number seven if i'm not correct if i'm not mistaken ten nine eight yep seven and this is the brilliant infidels i love this album and it has the fantastic joker man which opens it and uh, sweetheart like you it has um neighborhood bully another fantastic song license to kill i love that song uh, Man to Face, uh, I and I, which is another great song, brilliant song. And uh, there was a live album released on the back of this, uh, Real Live, which got slayed when it first came out. It was got the uh, critics absolutely destroyed it. But uh, it's primarily from this actual tour. But um, I thought, I like that uh, live album, I actually quite like a lot, the uh, Real Live album. And he does a few songs from this particular album on that live album too. So this is um, Infidels, another great album. And kind of a bit. Um, sentimental towards this too because uh, Mark Knopfler works on this he worked on Slow Train Coming as well but um, Mark Knopfler one of my favourite guitarists and uh, he sounds fantastic on this so we just have some of the tracks with that next up The Short But Sweet Nashville Skyline fantastic album absolutely beautiful album every song on this album just flows it's just absolutely terrific it has the fantastic Lay Lady Lay of course on it as well and uh, Girl From The North Country and uh, the brilliant Country Pie as well another one of my favourite a very short album and um his voice is um is uh, if you listen to this album you wouldn't think it was bob dylan but um the whole album sounds as uh, he sings uh, lay lady lay kind of in a different style a different tone of voice but um, it's a it's a fantastic album and uh, the great johnny cash makes an appearance on this as well now so we have ten nine eight two three four five yeah so now we are at number five, and that is the brilliant Love and Theft. Love this album, fantastic album. Another one of his later albums. It has the brilliant Tweedledum and, and uh, uh, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Sorry, uh, Mississippi Summer Days. Uh, every song on this, bye bye, bye and bye. Uh, High Water, another fantastic song. Uh, Moonlight, Honest with Me. Uh, Cry a while, Sugar Baby. Just an absolutely fantastic song. The brilliant Charlie Sexton playing the guitar on this album. It just sounds phenomenal. Absolutely fantastic album. Love this album. I really like Dylan's later work. I like all his work, but um, I really kind of uh, more kind of um, into you may say his later work. I just really I really get it for some reason. It just um, he just sounds phenomenal. I know in a lot of tracks and a lot of his later albums he can be a bit croaky sounding and. Um, Kind of uh, his lyrics are, can be very different, but um, I just really like his later work. I have to say, so that's another fantastic album. Next up, we have the brilliant Time Out of Mind, number four. Of course, we've loved Sick on that, standing in the doorway, million miles, trying to get to heaven till I fell in love with you. Not dark yet, yeah, great song. Cold Irons Bound, one of my favourite songs by Bob Dylan. What a song! This is a real, the comeback album, you may say. And um, this came out in uh, the mid nineties. And he was kind of out of form for a while. He came back to form in 89 with an album I'll come to uh, later on. But then he kind of drifted off again and kind of went into uh, from Under the Red Sky. kind of, And then he released another kind of uh, album focusing on, on old American style old songs. But um, this is an absolutely fantastic album. This really put Dylan back out there because um, it has some absolutely fantastic songs. From the opening Love Sick to the closing Beautiful Highlands. Fantastic album. Highly recommend it. Next up, we have number three, and that is the brilliant Bringing It All Back Home. Every track again on this. This is uh, from the 60s, of course. Opens up with the brilliant Subterranean Homesick Blues. Fantastic, She Belongs to Me. Maggie's Farm, Love Minus Zero, No Limit. Outlaw Blues, On the Road Again, Mr. Tambourine, Man, Gate to Be Eden, It's All Right, Ma, and It's All Over Now, Bailey Blue. Every single track on this is just outstanding, I have to say. Really like this album. Listen to this album quite a lot. Uh, really like this album, yep. Yeah. So that is uh, Dylan's Bringing It All Back Home. Next up is my number two. Now I don't have the actual cover for this because it's uh, framed. But um, this is uh, the album itself. And it's the brilliant Oh Mercy. What an album. I absolutely love the Oh Mercy album. This is the album kind of uh, late 80s. What an album to close the 80s with. In the 80s Dylan, Dylan kind of went. He was bringing out terrible albums like saved and the, 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 it, it just wasn't working for him um, but um, this album really brought him back to form it's produced by the brilliant uh, Daniel Leno and you can really hear that kind of sound on this album it's just absolutely fantastic it has the same kind of sound as uh, 
reminds me primarily of you two's the Joshua Tree, you know, that kind of loud bass and um, just really works on this album. It sounds fantastic. This album is really well produced and his lyrics and he's really back to form with this album. Fantastic album. Political world where teardrops fall, everything is broken. Uh, Man in a long back black coat closes the force. Sorry. Ring them bells, a beautiful piece. Uh, most of the time, probably one of my favourites from it. Um, it has What Was It You Wanted, uh, Disease and Conceit, and it closes with the beautiful uh, Shooting Star, which is another fantastic song. But uh, Oh Mercy definitely deserves my number two. A fantastic album for dinner. And my number one is the fantastic Blood on the Tracks. What can I say? Every song just rolls. And this is generally what they call his breakup album, such because he was going uh, through the breakup, of course, with his uh, wife Sarah. And uh, his son Jacob always quoted that um, Jacob Dylan uh, leads in, of course, with the uh, Wallflowers. Um, always said that um, the lyrics on this album is like uh, conversations he heard between his mum and his dad at the time. So, um, very personal album, I would imagine. But Tangled Up in Blue, fantastic. Every single track on this, absolutely fantastic song. Uh, Buckets closes with the brilliant Buckets of Rain. But um, Shelter from the Storm, another fantastic song. And... He does shelter from the storm live on the Hard Rain album. He does. He, it's available on other various uh, live albums by him, of course, the Bootleg series, so forth. But it's just a powerful song he does live uh, during his Rolling Thunder uh, tour. Fantastic. He really, really does um, these songs brilliantly uh, on that particular tour. Um, yeah. So this is my number one. It was released a few years back on uh, the uh, More Blood, More on the Tracks. Uh, part of the bootleg series. Uh, it's the same songs as the album um, Simple Twist of Fate. Um, if you see her say hello, fantastic song, Idiot Wind, of course, and uh, Lady Rosemary on the uh, Jack of Hearts, the wrong song, which is probably a lot of the uh, least favourite by a lot of uh, Dylan fans as such. But I actually like that song. I think it's a fantastic song. I think the whole album is fantastic. It absolutely shines. Dylan and his utmost best. Um, you probably notice I didn't put albums like Desire, and I like Desire. Nearly hit the top ten, but... Um, these other albums are the albums I really listen to more. So, and Blonde on Blonde, which is an album, a fantastic album. But again, I don't listen to it as much as I would listen to these albums. And um, yeah, and also Highway 61 Revisited, um, just about made the top 10. I do love that album, but um, again, the other albums, I'm really going on what I listen to. And it's no, it's really, really impossible to pick 10 uh, favourites uh, by Bob Dylan. It, it generally is. But these are, like I say, um, I listen to them more often uh, than the others. So, uh, yeah, so that's my number one, Blood on the Tracks. Uh, thanks for watching, just a quick video there. And um, I'll be back with another video soon. So uh, take care of yourselves and uh, stay safe.